Hello, I'm back. You didn't. You died for like half a second. I, I had to use necromancy through the internet to bring you back. For real? What? They, they call it internet I necromancy. <laughs> Intermancy, as some like to call it. Technomancy. Uh-oh. Please, keep me away from Tachibana. She seems more scared of Oda. Hmm. So, what does Oda do? No idea. What has Oda done? He did say he has a thug in, a, in the past before he met up with Tachibana. Mm. It could be that he did something and she recognizes his voice, but he doesn't recognize her. Mm. <laughs> Oda's remembering. Oda will not forget this. Oda will remember this. Pepsi. Yay! Totally won't be something terrible that happens. You're crazy, Oda. Nothing's happening. This is a normal car ride. I'm guessing this will be a crazy bit of something coming up. No. Uh oh. It's totally not an anime, though. It's, yeah. It's totally not. Even though it's shot like one during these cutscenes. Initial D. We don't have the car. Oh. Well, he's dead. But Kiryu didn't do it. That's the important part. Right. He seems pretty satisfied with himself. I don't know why. But I can't kill people. Oh, do I get to play this part? Yeah. So clearly, I can shoot them, and because Kiryu canonically did not kill anyone, these guys all survive. Possibly. Uh, ooh, Heat Eye. Interesting. Heat Eye slows down the action using... Oh, okay, it's bullet time. Uh-huh. Uh, that guy seemed pretty dead. Yeah, no, they, they lived. They're all alive. They're, they're all alive, man. Every one of them. Alive. And don't you dare question otherwise. Oh, that guy had, that guy survived. Clearly survived. There he goes. He survived. Look at all these survivors. I know, right? <laughs> Even though Q 
is causing like a 15 car pile up or something. Yeah, no, it's fine. Every one of them has survived. And don't you dare question otherwise. They are just badly wounded. Get her! I wish it was the Ember. I could redirect these bullets. Or hell, I'd take sex pistols. They'd be great too. He survived. Where do all these cars keep coming from? Oh, I'm sad. I think that was a guy I could have gotten a lot of money from. Why? Because he was a, yeah, because he had an afro. No, he had the golden suit on like the Nobe Rish guys. Oh. No, I excru ignore the guy with the goddamn gun. Shoot the guy that's got. You gotta be kidding me, we got a chopper? Here you must be able to fix their cars because that's the only reason I would see them keep coming after us. Like their car somehow repairs itself. No, they just got a lot of guys. Whoa! No? Shit, shit, shit! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why are you questioning it? day in, you know, a Yakuza's life, you know? I guess that's Yakuza's life. He survived. Don't worry. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> he canonically survives. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Kiryu's done all of this and nobody's died. Wait, so Oda's still driving? I guess Oda kicked out the old driver because he's not there anymore. Huh. Just toss the body out the window or something. Huh. Yeah, there's the corpse. In the trunk, somehow. Even though he wasn't in the car anymore. Is that Otis stand? He can teleport things? Oh my god, no. No, he, he's fucking Bruno from part 4 and 5. Where he can, like, make zippers appear in things. He made a zipper, stuffed the guy's body into the zipper, zipped it shut, 
had his stand pull it through the zipper like lining where it was inside of to the trunk made another zipper in the trunk and popped him out of there and then zipped the zipper shut mm. clearly that's what happened that's the only logical explanation. It's the only way this works. Either that, or he has the world and he stopped time and just quickly threw him in the trunk. I was about to hit and kill you. What does it look like I was going to do? Oh god, I kill you. Are you going blind too? <laughs> How do you think Tachibana got all his powers? He siphons the sight from people. I don't know. He took a few good, you know, rocket propelled grenades to the car. <laughs> Nutty. He's actually Tachibana. Tachibana can shapeshift. <laughs> so, Oda's actually a villain? Is is he betraying Tachibana? Oh, he's betraying him. Yes, because remember, if they would be in the same room, they would be able to activate one of twin powers, and then Tachibana will become God. But wouldn't she as well? She has a cane sword. Cane knife. Well, if you remember the Wonder Twins, which you probably don't. I do, they were in the Justice Friends. I remember one watching of them, that. Yeah, one of them could transform into animals, while the other could transform into various forms of water. Shape of a bucket of water. And then they had a pet monkey. That... Shape of a giant wall of ice. Why specifically those two things? Like, animals I, I kind of get. Why specifically water? Because he was useless. Oh, so he was Sakura before Sakura was useless to begin with. Kind of. I haven't seen enough Naruto to know later useless Sakura. She's still pretty useless. Like, oh. comparatively, she is... Like, don't get me wrong, she does do a handful of things... But comparatively, she is still just as useless, if not more useless. I can't believe they took out one of the final, if not the final boss, with sexy jutsu. Reverse sexy jutsu. Sorry, reverse harem jutsu. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, and it's so weird... Because they've ignored that thing since, like, the time skip. It no longer is a thing. So it's so out of nowhere that that's the way they plan to end it. And Sakura getting nosebleed forever. I mean, again, that's kind of par for the course for that yeah. technique. It's just a matter of why the fuck are you pulling it out here? Like, after years upon years of ignoring its existence. I guess the writer of Naruto would be like, hey, this would be a great joke to end on. I have no clue. Oda, come on, tell us, man. Tell us how One Piece ends. Yeah, after One Piece, what's going to be left? Like, or will some other big manga continue on? Probably that. 
unless, you know, they decide to go down the Naruto route where they just shove in the next generation. Which, honestly, they could probably do, depending on how uh, One Piece ends. They could probably do that, or just set it farther ahead in the future. Like, honestly, what I almost wish they did with Naruto was either A, go to a past era and follow that, like go back to when the first Hokage and shit was just making up the Leaf Village and all that junk, right? That would have been cool to watch. Or jump ahead multiple generations, not just, you know, Naruto's kid, jump ahead to like three, four generations down the line. Hey, did you hear the legend of the great Naruto? There was a bridge named after him once. Oh god, but no, that, that would have been cooler, I would think. Hell, you mean this thing in my soup? No, no! I mean, he really did like ramen from what the rumors say. But no, like, that would be the better way to do it. I wish that's what they did with um, Korra, the follow-up to Avatar The Last Airbender. I wish they wouldn't have taken it, more or less, right after that series had ended. Like, don't get me wrong. They jumped ahead to when maybe like a hundred-ish years into the future. I would have gone farther, because you're still looking at maybe one generation at that point. Wait, wait. So... Oh, um, Katara is... Katara. Katara is, like, 119? Uh, no, sorry. Let me, let me rephrase that. I think what they did was jump, like... I'm 70? 80? Uh, let me think. Because Katara is, like, 14 or something in Avatar. In, in The Last Airbender. Um, so I want to say from the point where Avatar The Last Airbender ends it's probably about two years in that world's time frame I'm going to say and that's probably overestimating so two years she's probably 16 at the end of it so maybe 80 years so maybe she's 96 oh but um yeah no like it, it's still within the gener well, like a single generation. Like you still have the old characters there. I would have put it further ahead. Because mm. literally in the time frame that it gives, we go from like old archaic, uh, like eighteen hundreds type of technology, I guess, like to the point where hot air balloons are just barely being invented to 80 years later all of a sudden we have steam engines and cars and all this shit from like the 1920s 1930s what yeah it, it's a very fast thing and it no 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 oh oh you're talking she about she is Tati Bonu's sister oh yeah I mean you called that way ahead of time yes uh huh yes I called it you called it when you didn't even know. Yes. So I was right. Tachibana does have godlike powers, and he's trying to exploit her to get them. So wait, is this like the whole Sasuke Itachi thing, where it's like if you take the eyes and implant the eyes of another person, you get stronger eyes? Maybe. Nobody but me had a clue I had a reason to kill her. Oda, you are brave. <laughs> killing, killing one girl for the entire fate of the planet. <laughs> But no, yeah, like, they, they jump from, like, hot air balloons barely being invented and understood to, like, 1930s level technology where airplanes are being invented. 
So do they have airbenders flying airplanes with their airbending power? Um, here's the thing. The airbenders were... Th Honestly, this isn't really a spoiler because it's kind of literally in the title of the first series. Oh, yeah. They're coming back from a genocide. Like, there's barely any of them. Oh. Like, literally, I think when Korra starts, there's like four. And how do you teach people how to airbend? They have to have the natural talent to begin with. And as far as I'm aware, it is genetic. Oh. So... You can't just teach anyone to airbend. So Aang's kids... Will Aang's be... one kid out of three had airbending. Oh. So two of them did not. The other one inherited Katara's, Katara's water, right? I don't even know about that. I know one of them has none of it. I The other one might not even have it. They might literally be two kids without any kind of bending. Oh, wow. So there are non-benders. Oh, yeah. No, there's plenty of non-benders. I think during, like... I think during Last Airbender, I think the idea is, like, it's about... It's either 50-50 or 75-25 benders right. to uh, right. non-bender ratios. Are there gooder benders? Mm, no. You I am bender. Please insert girder. I mean, if you if you really wanted to, I guess you could technically. Because I remember there being metal benders. Uh, not technically, no. Um, how do I want to put this? Metal benders are a subset of earth benders. Oh. So, like, metal bending is like an extreme version of uh, earth bending because metal being just refined version of earth. So, since blood is. We're not refined water, but could you blood bend? Yes, and there is an entire episode discussing that potential and how fucking disgusting, and not disgusting, but how fucking horrible of an idea it is. Oh. And like, there's a reason why airbenders are like the most terrifying thing in the world. Because they like would just bend the air out of your lungs if they were really that like, insistent on killing you. So, Airbender gets dark. Oh my god, Saw. Yes. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, like, even though it's a kid's show, it gets dark. Like, it has those dark points. And while, uh, yes, it's a kid's show, you can tell they have to pull back a bit. Like, the idea of what things could really mean like how far some of those concepts could be taken is terrifying so like, not saying they would could they have a R-rated airbender oh totally they could totally do that especially if there were like a bunch of people blood bending hell like literally take that idea and then just freeze the blood in someone's veins Ice bending? That's a thing. Like, waterbenders in general can make things freeze. It's been done. Huh. So if you apply that to blood bending, that becomes terrifying because all of a sudden your blood is just freezing and s exploding out of your body in icicle spikes. Which makes me just remember that one movie makers podcast that I've still yet to post about the killer icicle. Mm -hmm. I forget what that was. It was like demon possessed water or some bullshit like that. I think it was a witch's curse that started it. Mm. Be sure to check out movie.
movie makers coming out every Thursday ish. I think. We hope. Yes. Although I do like make a set schedule, sometimes I'll slip a few hours if I had problems with the file or something like that. But generally, I try to release it the same time every week, on the same days every week. Oh my god, the saw guy, he needs to go. Just please, thank you, god, I can actually play now. I know, we, God. I know we covered this before, but since Yakuza 1 was the big, was like the original game and this is a prequel, they probably don't explain how they forgot how to fight, basically. Well, Oda's dead. E yep, poor Oda. But Kiryu didn't do it. His nope. slate is clean. Just like everyone else that survived that Kiryu has encountered. But you were saying a few months back how you loved when they had in-game explanations on why your poor, you forgotten most of the, your abilities and stuff like that. I do like that idea. Because I think in Mega Man Legends 2, aka Rockman Dash, I think it's called in Japan, is something like, oh, we, our ship needed upgrades, so, um, I sold all your weapons. Sorry about that. <laughs> so now you're back to square one. I mean, like, in, in Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood, they did a great, like, idea of that, where it's like, fuck, my entire town just got demolished while I was ready to go to sleep, and I literally lost all of my shit. I was only oh. able to scrounge this one thing before everything just got destroyed. So you can carry items back into time? No, 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 you're reliving the past, is the idea. Oh. So you're reliving the moment that his uh, his town is getting attacked. And the way that works is he quickly grabs the one item he can, and then, I believe, cannon fire destroys the tower that he's sleeping in. Oh. You know, he get he, like, launches himself. Either he gets thrown, I think he gets thrown, actually, because of the explosion. Which, he survives, though, barely. Like, to the point where he's limping and probably has quite a few shattered bones. And you do come uh, back later to, like, inspect the place, but most of the stuff's just in rubble. Kill you? What do you mean the last time I saw him? I'm blind. Thank you very much much didn't she say she used to see though beforehand like she hasn't been permanently blind oh i i think she told that to uh, majima yeah i think she said that to majima that she wasn't always blind that's racist
Smoking a cigarette. No, you're not. You're not an idiot. You're just blind. Yeah. My guess, after the final boss fight against Tachibana, she will regain her eyesight. The curse will be lifted. Oh. Being spit on is scary. Then he was gone. You know, right now, I just want to walk up next to her, give her hair a little tussle and say, Don't worry, everything will be okay. She's a grown woman. Uh, I, I know that. <laughs> like, that sounds like something you do to, a, like, a child. Or, like, a person that looks like a child. But... Giving her hair a little tussle might give her comfort in the sad time she's experiencing. See, she's crying. I know. That's when you put around uh, an arm around her and comfort her that way. Now, granted, I don't think that's the Japanese way of doing things because they are very much just like your problems are your problems, and you know. Being touchy-feely with someone that's not family tends to be looked down upon. Like, unless you're in a relationship with that person. But even then, in public, it's not really... It's kind of frowned upon, as far as I'm aware. Hmm. <laughs> There, there. Everything is okay. Here, look at me. I have a cannon fish. <laughs> or a fish cannon. <laughs> that fires even smaller fish. <laughs> Here, if it'll make you feel better, honk my nose. <laughs> I know what will make you feel better. Kirite reaches into hammer space, starts struggling. No, 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 no. He, no, no. He, he's got like the nose and the wig on, right, and the floppy shoes. He, like, I know what'll make you feel better, and he reaches into like the inner pocket of his jacket, you know, like he's going for a cigarette, and just pulls out a rubber chicken and hands it to her. <laughs> or a pie. He just slowly. Push it in your face. No, no, <laughs> no, no, not in her face. He slowly hands it to her. She goes to reach for it, and then he whips it into his own face. <laughs> Does this make you happy? Oh wait, you're blind. Oh, you that's. Can't see that. he, she could hear it though. Oh. She could hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the next episode, more craziness. More sadness. Oh, God. Hey, I get to save. Yay. See um, us. Yep, later.